Focus is something that I give a lot of credit to for many positive things that have recently happened in my business. However, I have never been very strong in planning for the future. The typical interview question, you know, when they ask you, what is your five year plan? I never had one. <laughs> and in many ways, I believe that this approach has taken me to places that a plan probably wouldn't have allowed for. So I have no regrets whatsoever. However, on reflection, I could have made my life probably a little bit easier in many areas if I had more focus and clarity. Now, this is quite a personal video, but if you would like to get to know me a bit more and from a different side, then do keep watching. Hi, I'm Cecile Jemmett and I show coaches and consultants how to use LinkedIn for lead generation with an honest and non-cringy method. If you enjoy this video, do make sure to connect with me on LinkedIn, of course, <laughs> and to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Right, I think I was about 12, maybe 13, when I first experienced my struggle with focus. Now, before I go into this story, I'm well aware that some of you may not like this part of me, which I'm absolutely fine, because I am incredibly proud of where I come from, and I do respect your thoughts. However, I just want you, um, I want to ask you to consider that things are different in different parts of the world. So if you can, be open-minded. So my part of the world used to be Switzerland. I grew up in a rural little village near Lake Constance and shooting guns at targets was a very big part of my life for a very long time. So I believe when I was about 12, maybe 13, I was introduced to crossbow shooting. My dad actually won the Swiss championship in 1978, the year before I was born. So no pressure there, but of course I wanted to follow his footsteps and I was actually really good at it. However, I embodied what they call a practice champion. So great while practicing, but failing, big time, <laughs> when under pressure at a competition. After a while, that really, really got to me. And finally, I even stopped going altogether. A few years later, I believe I was about 16, I went a step up and started training with a Swiss army rifle. For anyone knowing your guns, that was a Swiss 90 Sturmgewehr. Now, this gun was a bit more forgiving to my nerves and I did fairly well. However, the same lack of focus kept me from taking it to another level. So for 13 odd years, it remained a lovely hobby and a very, very precious way to spend time with my dad and with the community. It was my dad that actually said to me that I needed to forget about the end result. I needed to focus on each shot one by one. This was hard for me. I could literally score 10 out of 10 for nine shots. So that's when you hit right in the middle. <laughs> and then the last one would barely hit the target. In my head, I just got carried away with the thought of being a winner <laughs> instead of focusing on getting that last shot out properly. So how is this whole gun story related to my business, you may ask? Well, when I started this journey, I got sucked into all the promises and results people were putting out there. The online world is full of savvy marketers that pick you up from the exhaustion that you experience when you start a business. And what they promise, you know, that shortcut that sounds so amazing. <laughs> so I fell for quite a few of them and got distracted from my goals. But sometimes that's how you learn, isn't it? Anyway, the good news is, of course, I am still here and I got a lot better with my focus. And I help now fellow consultants with their focus for an effective LinkedIn lead generation strategy. I hope that you have found value in this video. If you have, let me know in the comments below and do connect with me on LinkedIn or on my other channels. 
um, where I like to share other tips and advice on how to leverage LinkedIn for business. Thanks so much for watching. Um, until next time, bye-bye, ciao, ciao, tschüss.